Hey guys, it's Cairo. So today we're going to uh, be explaining UV unwrapping in a way that's more catered toward UGC creators and modelers on Roblox, since a lot of the tutorials that I see don't necessarily explain it, and I kind of had to learn it from someone else to be able to kind of adapt it to the type of models that we make on this platform. So put simply, UV unwrapping is how a 3D model is unfolded and turned into a 2D map, which is done to apply an image texture. So I'll put some UV maps up on the screen and you can see that every single face on a model should have a dedicated spot on the map and you kind of can't squish a 3D model. So what you would have to do is tell Blender where to cut the model in order to be able to unfold everything so that every face has a dedicated spot. So you would kind of need to cut a mesh in half so that you can flatten it while everything is face up. And to do this, we put on seams. So we're going to start with this super simple hat that I've made. Uh, you can see that it's completely solid. So in order to turn this into something two-dimensional, we're going to have to tell Blender where to make a cut to split it into two pieces. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your hat selected in edit mode and that you have edge selection on instead of vertice or face. For this hat, the best place to add a seam would be on the bottom of the hat. Usually, it's best to place seams on parts of the model that are easily covered up or won't be seen very easily. Though, typically, uh, some people kind of split models down the middle or something such as that. It kind of all depends on what you use to texture. Um, if you look at my channel and you see I use something called Substance Painter, it's not necessarily too bad to split models down the middle, but if you're texturing... Um, on Photoshop and stuff like that, it might get a little bit more confusing for you. So I'm going to select all of the edges on the bottom of this hat and then right click and click mark seam. And you should see a red line appear. You're going to want to make sure that that's making a full circle and connecting end to end. So what this is going to do, it's going to separate the bottom part of the half and the top part. So now we're going to switch to the UV editing tab. And with your object selected, make sure that you're in edit mode. Press A to highlight your whole mesh. And then we're going to navigate to the left side and click on UV and then unwrap. So you'll see that it was separated into two different parts. And if you click this arrow up here, you'll be able to click around on a few faces and see exactly where each face is. Each of these maps that we just created is called an island. So to select an individual island, hover over it and press L. And then you can use your normal G and S movement controls to move it around. So that's pretty much the gist of what UV unwrapping actually is and how it works. I think soon in the future I'll be making a video discussing why resolution is important for textures both in concepts and models that are uploaded to the catalog, as well as going more in depth about unwrapping for more advanced modelers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.